I just wanted to quickly share an update with you. My name is Joel Arnold, and we're your missionaries in Manila, the Philippines. Uh, first off, here's the family. We're healthy, we're doing well. Jeremy is the oldest, Zachary, Caroline, and Joy. And one of the big highlights for us over the last few months is that Jeremy got baptized. I told him before he could get baptized, he needed to read the entire Bible. And then we also did a Bible doctrines course together and we just talked through the different doctrines. He did that, gave a very clear testimony and it was delightful to see him express faith and follow the Lord. I also had the privilege of teaching a class in Southern Mindanao. This was a group of about 38 pastors. We talked about the theology of the New Testament book by book. Really delightful to spend the time with those men. And I, I look at this and this is what my life is about. This is what I really get excited about. We also have ministry here in Manila. Uh, this is with a group of non-Filipino students at our college, Chinese, Burmese, and we meet together with them in our home uh, on a semi-regular basis and have a service together, talk through scripture together, a Bible study. It's a blessing to be with them. This is more typically what my classroom setting looks like, uh, training men and future church planners as well as ladies as well on studying the Bible and how to uh, minister in counseling and teaching other people. We also hosted a marriage conference recently, and this was based on Wind Center Say I Do, really good marriage book, and had a, quite a few couples come in. Really, really uh, profitable time with them. We took a trip to Hong Kong in January, and this we were invited for a multi-church conference. Four churches came together, and they do this every few years, and then we were I was to teach on the book of Daniel. Well, this was Chinese New Year, and it was right when things started up. And so the conference actually got canceled. I ended up doing the entire conference in Hong Kong over Zoom, over the internet. And it worked out, <laughs> by God's grace. We had a good conference, good time with the people. We came back to Manila, and it, um, soon after, a few weeks after we arrived, it also arrived in Manila, not with us. <laughs> Um, and so on a Monday night, our president announced that all of the classes were going to get closed. And uh, the next morning or that evening at one o'clock in the morning, this is me desperately <laughs> trying to rearrange all our classes to fit online. Uh, within eight, 10, 12 hours, everything was moved. We, <laughs> somehow it happened. And we held our classes for two weeks completely online. There were other implications too. Uh, these are some of those same students I showed you before, non-Filipino students. These men are from Myanmar. And so helping them get out of the country and uh, the immigration things, um, this was a little complicated. By God's grace, they did all, they were all able to get home. And from there now, we've been able to hold our classes. This is uh, a Bible doctrines class and all the students coming in that way. Or the same at our church. This is our church and we're meeting every week it's completely held online like this. Our pastor is the man on the top right, Pastor Abbott. Really, really excellent leader for our church. And we're praising the Lord for how God is leading us through this time. I'll just leave you with one prayer request. And it's just this. This is a tiny, narrow slice of our city. Uh, we're about the 11th or 12th largest city in the world and about 13 million people. And for this, the impact of this virus on the city, the entire city is shut down. You can't travel, the streets are closed. Um, you can get out one person with a pass if you're going to buy food, and that's it. And that's okay for us, we'll work with it. Um, but when I'm looking at the other people around the city, day laborers that honestly live day by day, I don't know how this is gonna work for them over the long haul. We're two weeks in and people will run out of money. They'll start getting hungry. So our prayer request is just that. Pray that the Lord would preserve life pray that he would preserve people's health, and then pray that he would give us wisdom as we do seek as much as we can to try to help the people around us and be a blessing, the people in our church, the people in our neighborhood. Thank you so much for your prayers and your encouragement. We're praying for you as well. I know this affects all of us. Thank you so much.